Marsh, Technical Support Specialist with Jscape. In this video we will be discussing the JMX feature of Jscape MFT Server. I will also show you how to set up a Java profiling application to use this feature. JMX is basically a technology that lets you implement a management interface on a Java application. When this service is enabled on Jscape MFT Server it will allow you to more closely monitor memory and CPU usage. Once this service is enabled, you will need to connect to it using a Java profiling application to view the statistics. In this example, I will show you how to set this up with a profiler called Visual VM. So the first thing we're going to do is navigate to the Settings screen of Jscape MFT Server Manager, and you'll see that we have a JMX option here. Uh, we want to make sure this is enabled. I think it's disabled by default but you can select either 0.0.0.0 uh, .0 or you can select the actual IP address of your of your host here. Uh, you want to take note of the port number because we'll be using that later. And next we are going to go to uh, visualvm.java.net slash download.html and we're going to download our uh, profiler application here. And this application, you're not actually going to install, you're just going to uh, unpack the archive file here. And uh, we will basically just run this application um, straight from the uh, executable. So we'll navigate to the bin folder, and uh, we have the visual vm.exe. So just click on that, and the application will run. So we have several nodes here, local, remote, log files, and snapshots. You want to make sure that you deselect any of those nodes, and we're just going to click on the icon for add JMX connection. Now I'm going to paste in a string here that I copied. You can get this string if you go into Jscape MFT Server Manager and click the Help and then Contents option, and it will bring up this page and you can search for JMX and you will have this string here that you can just copy and paste in. So what we want to do is we just want to enter the IP address of our server and the port number uh, that we saw earlier. And I'll just show you this port number again. That's 30050 is the port number. So we just want to enter that port number in here. And then we're going to enter our uh, administrator credentials so that we can authenticate uh, to this service. Type in the right password here. I'm going to save that for future use. Click OK, and as you can see, we have uh, a new uh, service added here, and we can just double click on that service. And now we are connected to the JMX service on Jscape MFT server. And as you can see, we have nine different tabs here. The monitoring and threads tab is probably going to be the most useful for some basic monitoring. But basically this is going to give you real-time data on what the application is doing and the resources it's using. And you have uh, several different tabs here that you can configure and that you can look at. So just to recap, we covered how to enable the JMX service on Jscape MFT server and set up a profiling application to view some real-time statistics. For more information on Jscape MFT server, please visit jscape.com. Thank you for watching. Thank you.